guys, Wolfie here again. We're uh, restricted to the workshop again. Uh, weather's bad. There's areas of the country that are having 18, 19 mile an hour winds and without power. So uh, I'm indoors. I did do a bit of shooting this morning, but it was, uh, I say, interesting at best. Anyway, what I want to show you today is a bow that I've received from a South African bowyer called Pierre Devet. Now, I hope I pronounced that right. Now, this is a Scythian Model 2. Stand back and show you that. And this is of a horse bow design. Interesting detail of this in is it actually has a handle. Rather than being just straight and round, it's got a grip built in. Now, he does a couple of models. He does a Scythian 1 and a Scythian 2. The Scythian Model 1 has two shelves. There's ambient extra spoke and shot with thumb ring off the shelf or by finger release. Left or right handed. This is bamboo in its construction. It has a walnut core in here and he called this snake bean. I'm not familiar with snake bean but it's a very grainy and quite nice looking wood. Uh, his business is Cupido Bows. This Cupido Bow is a £50 bow. 28 inches. He does a really nice interesting thing with the bamboo before it's laminated up because he'll put like a fade into it and you can do that. See the, the way the material fades? There. So he'll put a fade in from the end. Now we can do that from the centre out and, and in, in, in patterns. I've seen. Um, I had a bow of a similar design to this from a UK manufacturer that didn't have a handle on it. Uh, quite some time ago and it didn't suit me in some regards because of the centre of gravity the the handle is quite far back I managed to find it was a bit twisty now with this having a grip and it is very much a um, hand related grip it's cut to suit this one particularly right hand so it sits nicely there and it's stable it's it doesn't go anywhere uh, I've been shooting this for a few weeks them acorns, squirrels are back. Um, yeah, and it's got, uh, yeah, I've been shooting it for a few weeks now and I've had no problems with it, so that threw me then. The tips have got um, horn on them. This is a dark piece of horn. When it came, it came with a uh, fur rest. It was uh, seal, I think. Didn't quite suit me. <coughs> and the shelf was as normally, square design, but um, sorry, Pierre. But I did my usual thing and I, I took a little section off the shelf. Now that is just a personal tuning thing, that's just something I do. It doesn't affect the performance of the bow. But the construction of this, <coughs> excuse me, it's pretty. I really, really like it. I'll get the detail there of that. If I can get in closer, it'll focus on it. But there's two layers of bamboo at the forward face, one layer at the back, they come together. And the curvature on this is, is just it's just pretty. There's just nothing else you can say, but it's pretty. Also, when it came, it had um, <coughs> some wool silencers on. Now, I tend to have a preference for the, the rubber ones. They're a little bit heavier, and I use them for tuning. So what I'm going to do, I'll move the camera. Um, so yeah, just just to add to this, it comes. It came with its bag. It came with a bag. And the bow stringer. Now the bow stringer is uh, slightly more rustic than, uh, than the ones you buy at the shops, but it certainly serves its purpose. The face pad there to go onto the limb, and that goes over your tip. Does the job. One thing I can say is, if you're going to order one from Pierre, make sure it, you pay a little bit extra, and it goes air freight. Uh, this was supposed to go um, South African mail via air. Uh, I think it did from Johannesburg down to Durban and then was put on the boat. So you're then talking 12 plus weeks on a boat in amongst other luggage. It got here. Um, lots of stickers on the package. You know, I'm going to move the camera over here because what I want you to do to see uh, if I can get a, a show of it in, in the, oh, it's my door there is the shape of this bow at draw. I don't think I'm going to get it from there. 
zoom as far as I can. I'm going to have to squash over to this door because this, the shape of it is lovely and the performance of it is lovely. I'm going to point show you the tile, get them too close. But this beautiful shape. Do that again. I love the shape of this boat. Just And again, just to show it off, look at the curve on that. That's a full draw 28 inch. It'll draw to 30 odd inches. Um, and it has, in essence, I'd say, an element of let off. It doesn't strike me that it's going to stack in any shape or form. As, as you're getting up there, it's not, it's getting heavier, but it's not getting heavier. That's hard to describe, but some bows you, you find you get at the top and you know you're at your point. This is just, just draws out. I mean, I'll, example now, I have my 28 inches is roughly there. I'm now drawing past me. I don't know what that length is, but that's fine. I'm used to holding that, but uh, right out here, that's got to be 30 odd inches. Um, Pierre made one of these bows for a guy called Victor. I think it's Victor Kern, I'm not sure, but I believe he's an editor of a South African um, bow hunting magazine. My facts may not be correct. What I do understand is um, he has brought down pretty much any huntable animal in South Africa with one of these bows. Now, I'm not a hunter myself, I shoot 3D targets, 3D animals, that's it. But uh, it's got to be uh, above substance and quality for a bow hunter, if that's what you want to use it for, if it's done that. Now, some of you may liken the design of this to uh, other bows I've seen. Uh, I tried a bow some time ago, a Saluki bow um, by another bowyer. Now, this is half the price of a Saluki bow. It's uh, and it's it does exactly what it should. Uh, I would actually take this out to a field shoot, um, a recurve competition, and use it because it is it's stable, it. it puts the arrows exactly where you want them and does, as, as other bows have got, exactly what they're supposed to do. And you can have it pretty, he will make it for you, it doesn't take a, a long, long time if you want some extra details in it, etc. You just speak to him and you'll get what you need. So the guy's name is Pierre Devet, um, Cupid O Bows. You can contact him via Facebook um, if I can find the phone number. Uh, it'll be on the screen. Right now, maybe. If I haven't found it, then uh, I'm sure you can track him down. Cupid Bows, if you Google him, you'll probably find some uh, magazine articles pertaining to uh, South Africa and the South African bow hunting, bow hunting and even um, the article uh, by this guy, Victor. Victor. So, I hope that is uh, of interest. This is a very pretty bow. Uh, just quickly, as far as the finish is concerned, it's handmade. It's not production made, etc. And I would say 98% it's beautiful. There are, if you look really closely, and I, to be honest, I quite like this, the, a little uh, sound mark, a little fire mark, um, a little bit on the horn, but that is it. And that to me is a sign of, of a craftsman to add his hands on this. So I would say, Pierre, thank you for, for a, a stunning bow. Uh, a well-performing bow and something that I think you know needs to be shown to other people and appreciated by more people. So that's it. Cupid Oak Bows Scythian Model 2, £50 at 28 inches. Thanks for watching.